Oh, good morning, my dear listening public. Oh, happy Easter to this Easter Sunday, oh, the third day that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, uh, rise from the grave. And according to this uh, biblical story, he went up into heaven and is personally there sitting on the right hand side of our Lord and Savior, our Lord God. Uh, today we uh, I would like to extend greetings to uh, Grace Corinthian, uh, the uh, the founder and producer of this product, you know, to Sis Vera Addy, uh and my man, my brother, uh, uh, what they call Pitman Kennedy, and all of you out there in America. To my daughter Cole Mor Moruba, to my daughter George Trufy Smith, married to my son Nathaniel Smith. And all uh, the uh, Pat, uh, Patricia, uh, and then and I got a daughter that I've been talking about for a long time, Janet, uh, Janet Moore, uh, J, Lady J. Uh, I just want to remember you today on this uh, uh, time of Easter, and uh, and I hope you and the, my grandchildren are doing well because this is a time of love that uh, we supposed to mention people who well, we have not interacted. Uh, for a long time so uh, I wish you all guys well this morning to all of my other uh, daughters in Liberia and in America and those of you who follow me on Facebook my post and every other thing uh, I wish you uh, well on this Easter and uh, I hope all is well with your family may God richly bless you so uh, this is uh, Grace Corinthian products called uh, it's called Gracie Case product and uh, I'm using that she sent me some samples and I gave it to some other people to to just uh, use and see how the products work and it working very well for me I think you can see my face how it's shining and you know, I'll take power with it I will not be in the bath my whole body and what's else women use it differently most women you use it to cleanse the face and keep it shiny as usual. So uh, you can go on my Facebook page. I will keep posting her number so that you can call her directly for your order. And this it's very good. This people uh, natural products, African products that she's using. Uh, and we want to uh, uh, pray to God that she succeed in this uh, because. We must uh, support our Liberian in, in entrepreneurs, and our creativity as Liberian. That's the only way our nation can develop. Okay, uh, have a blessed day. So, oh, I'll be continuing with my spiritual science series today. Uh, my final reflection on the uh, uh, Easter. Uh, the title is the Savior Defy Gravity of Death. The Savior Defy Gravity of Death. So, the word gravity, you cannot talk about gravity without talking about Sir Isaac Newton, who first uh, got the, uh, discovered the understanding of gravity and what says what goes up must come down. So, the gravity is the forces that keep us balanced on earth that you can walk and you can float you know so that's gravity that keeping you to be able to walk you can sit down you can sleep you get no problem so as if you look at the picture of people who go in space you see them always floating because there isn't any gravity there anything to hold them down so they carry this heavy equipment to keep them holding them. so sir i see you can also say to every reaction there must be an equal and opposite reaction. He also said that. So in this article of the Fellowship of Christian Athletics, they come up with this uh, uh, discussing the issue of of uh, gravity and then along since they are a newspaper that uh, do stories of uh, uh, or talk about athletics. They mentioned Julius Evans, uh, commonly called Dr. J, uh, during the early, the uh, late 70s, early 80s, uh, Judas Evans, who was usually called uh, Dr. J, was a very famous and one of the best 
basketball star during the 70s and early 80s. Then later on, Michael Jordan came, and these guys, they used to uh, like defy gravity, hang in the air, and then dunk the ball, and then suspend for a couple of time before coming down. So they were well known for defying uh, 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 gravity in basketball. So, so only according to the story, there's only a few kinds of physical ability and you know, people only few people have that kind of a physical ability to defy gravity and when it comes to mankind but then we're talking about a, a, a racing Christ who defy uh, the gravity of death which means death could not hold him down okay death could not hold him down so that's what we're going to be talking about this morning. And then another thing is that every Christian and possess the power to defy gravity in the spiritual world. So since we're talking about the uh, uh, Easter today, we're talking about how we all as human, because we got to look at why Jesus died for us. So we all possess the, 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 the power to defy gravity in the spiritual world and with that which is sin and it's because of the very sin that Jesus died for our sin and then he was he's, he was raised on the third day and ascended into heaven so so when it comes to the, the 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 gravitational power to sin that entered the world when Adam and Eve you know enter into sin so they was our first parent. They went in the, in the sin, and because of sin, God cursed mankind and took and put them out of the Garden of Eden. According to the story, they were escorted by angel, angels uh, to the east side of the Garden of Eden. And since that time, that curse came. And there came a time that God, you know, uh, uh, wrath was so severe on, on man. Uh, you remember that the first world was destroyed by water, and then we 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 all are now the second world we are facing, uh, the danger of being destroyed by fire, according to our uh, religious signs. So, oh, uh, oh, uh, so sin. Jesus came in the picture because of sin. So God wanted to destroy us, but He wanted someone who were going to step in the gap. So Jesus showed up. He was the only man, the only one that was qualified to stay in the gap for us so that uh, God will you know, lift his wrath off us. So Jesus decided to take on to himself all of that pressure, the wrath the, the, that God had for all the anger that God had to destroy us. Jesus took it on to himself and volunteered like, to his father. I am going to go to lay down my life for them so that they can have life, not only life, but to have abundant life. So I start by this morning, this Sunday morning, to tell you we must keep in mind the reason why our Lord and Savior defied death. Because if He hasn't defied death and rise again, it means that that was the end for us. Then we may hit death was meaningless to us. So in order for us to, to appreciate Jesus for what he did for us, let us conclude with this one. So, as I conclude with what I just said, I would like to say that everyone who believes in Jesus as a savior and the Lord leading to sincere repentance receive eternal life so the, the the only way we can appreciate the death of jesus who will be raising today will be number one to repent first repentance starts with confession confess all of your sin and you know, to those who you trust not anybody but those who you trust or you can talk directly to god so you will confess and repent then you will receive internal life. So you can never ever receive internal life with all the two things. 
confession, repentance, and internal life, which is the same as salvation. Because if you seek salvation, is establishing covenant with God. It's establishing a relationship where you can just put your hands up and pray to God for anything, and He will give it to you because God already know you got confidence. Before you can establish a confidence with God, it means that God already trusts you that He can give you anything and you're able to manage it. So the Holy Spirit defied gravitational pull of sin on this earth that will continue until Jesus returns and eradicate all evil men and sin. Okay, so the Holy Spirit defy the gravitational pull of sin. So, which means that if the Holy Spirit defy the gravitational pull of sin on this earth, and that will war us down. So, which means you have to believe in the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. So that Holy Spirit will keep you out from sinning. And if we can achieve that, then it means that when Jesus returns, He knows that He got people that uh, appreciated the life that He laid down for all of us. So I start by this morning. Number one, seek salvation through perfection and repentance. And seek confidence with God. Have that special relationship with God. By living outside of sin. So the Holy Spirit came in between there to hold up sin so that we can be able to, to, to correct our life and live so that we can experience that internal life until Jesus can return. Because according to the story, on that day, on the road leading to Jericho, is where everybody going to line up. Those or your relatives, parents who have died for so many years, everybody going to come up. That's what they call the time of the rapture. The return of Jesus. Everybody going to wake up from the grave and we're all going to get in the single fire. Single fire. And then to meet God and Jesus as the Question us about the life that we live on earth before the time of your rapture. And you, what side of God that He's going to direct you depend on your interview. And if you pass it, then you're going to go on the right side. If you don't pass it, then prepare to burn, burn in internal hell fire. That's what Jonathan Edwards preached many decades ago. When he talk about sinners in the hands of an angry God. Because he was trying to explain to his congregation at the time in Princeton, USA. That evil men who will refuse to repent and change their way. Will spend their life in internal hell fire. God bless you today. And if you enjoy this message. This is Easter. Be kind to someone, someone who you haven't reached out to for years. Reach up to them financially. Someone who needs few copper rights, give it to them. In Africa, especially in Africa, even there are people here that can afford food. So I just want to urge you today that we must be able to defend Jesus through our relationship with one another. Thank God for you today. Let us pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this time of reflection on Easter. That you will help us to live as brothers and sisters, loving our neighbor as ourselves, and seeking the interests of others. Reaching out to those who cannot help themselves and be a part of their life. That little child that flying around the street that doesn't have a parent. A broken home, a conflict homes and things, and uh, help those who cannot help themselves. Help rebuild family and community and build bridges that all of us can cross. I pray in the name of the Father, Son, 
and the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. And as I do your word, I come against every form of temptation and defy it, and those that sit on it are using it against me. May you forgive them and help them to turn to you. Amen and amen. God bless you. Don't forget.